Hey yo, I just thought I'd show you this little simple bird box I made. Just while we're here on this part of the video, this is where I've pin dropped out the, uh, the blade cover on the table saw. Luckily, nothing dropped in the blade. But, uh, I mean, obviously it come loose. Like I say, it's just a bird box I'm making for blue tits. Um, made out of a bit of ply I've got. I know ply isn't the best thing for outdoor use, but when it's got a bit of paint on, it's normally protected quite well. I've made a few of these over the years, and they tend to last. You get sort of two, three, four years out of them. So we uh, just made out a little bit of scrap. Overall size is about, I don't know, 150 square by approximately 250 mil high. Um, I made the back plate a little bit bigger. So you've got a sloping roof on. This here is the front front panel, if you like, the one with the all the, the all goes in a 25 mil hole. Um, I put a bit of a chamfer on the front of it, so when the lid closes down, it closes down, sort of on the same angle as the sides. Battery's gone flat, so we've got another battery, and like I said, drilling a 25 mil hole in this. Just big enough for blue tits. Put it together with a bit of wood glue and brad nails. Um, this brad nail I've got, it's an electric one, and to be honest with you, the best. You, you've kind of got to put a lot of pressure on them, otherwise the nails stick out. The um, like I say, tin of the best one. I fancy an air one if I can get one, but uh, obviously with that you've got to have a compressor and everything else that goes with it. This, I thought this would just come in handy for, for what I use them for. But uh, I don't know whether all these electric ones are the same, but it's as if you've got to put a lot of pressure on to to make the nails stick in, uh, to sink in proper. Otherwise, you're getting an amateur in which defeats the uh, object of the gun, doesn't it? The front on now, ended up putting it on the wrong way, getting glue all over it. If you remember, I chamfered the front end of this, or the, the top end of it, so it was in line with the, the roof, if you like. I still put it on the wrong way. When I was firing some of these brads in, I got one or two based out as well. One of them come out the side, which one are great. And a couple of them inside. I did sort of rectify the ones that went inside, but uh, the one on the outside, it wasn't too bad, so I left it as it was. This base I'm putting in now, I ended up drilling one or two holes in the bottom of this just to allow, allow it to breathe really, a few air holes um, but also if any wet gets in it allows it to drain. Right, now it's time to do the roof. I decided to cover it in this, like a plastic I've got. It's uh, stuff that they use on a damp course, I think. Um, I've got it knocking round. So I thought I'd just try and cover it with this. And, you know, it's done the job, I think. And another thing it allowed me to do is basically use it as like an inch, um, for so you could lift the lid up and if, you know, if any rubbish left inside, you can always clean it out.
finally, last thing to do is give it a bit of a coat of paint. Or this is Cupinol Willow actually, um, which I find not too bad. Got one or two different colours in this, and a couple of coats of this, and it seems to help protect them quite well. Like I say, this is plywood, so it's not the best thing to have outside, but uh, it does work quite well. So it, it certainly helps protect it. Here's a bit of a drawing of the few of the measurements that I use to make the box, if it's uh, of interest to anybody. Anyway, that's it. Jobs are good, and hopefully, if you like it, give us a thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the next one.